Hello all back again, this time I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up the official build of Plex which came out the other day plus uh, Open Media Vault. So the first thing we do, we'll go to the Open Media Vault website. Uh, the installation images can be found here, so just click there. Just scroll down to Raspberry Pi images. and just click the link if it doesn't download just click problems downloading and then just go for the direct link and just click save I'll speed this bit up a bit once it gets going there it goes right that's done the thing we're going to do now is burn it with a bit of a software called etcher I'll put a link in the uh, description, so I'll just start that up. All you want to do is select image, then the image we just downloaded, just double click on it to open it. Uh, that's the SD card I'm using, and then just click flash. This can take a little while, but I'll uh, speed it up once it uh, starts going. And that's done, it's just uh, verifying now. And uh, that's all done. The image has been burnt to an SD card. So I can uh, close that window and cancel that. Thing you do now is just uh, plug the SD card into your Pi. Thing we're going to do now is log into Open Media Vault, which is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Have a look in your router to find it. Uh, username is admin and password is Open Media Vault, all lowercase. So just log in. thing we're going to do now is mount the hard drives you're going to use, uh, be using. I'm using um, Seagate USBs. So you want to go into storage, then file systems. And there's my Seagate drive. So I just select it, and then I want to mount it. And then you just apply and yes doesn't take too long to do right that's done now we're going to go into access rights management and shared folders I'm going to click add uh, give it a name uh, I'm going to call it movies Then I'm going to select my device, which is my Seagate. Just going to double check the path. Yep, that's the right one. You can select it and just go OK. In uh, permissions, I always set it to everyone, read and write. And click save. And just click apply. And yes. Just going to add another folder. This one I'll name TV. Same drive. I'll just check the path. Yep, just select it just to make sure. Same again for permissions, everyone. And click save. And then apply. And then yes. And that's done. Now we're going to go into services. And we're going to set up a Samba server, SMB. So you want to click enable. Then save. And apply. 
and yes. Now we're going to add shares and then add shared folder and in the drop down I've got my movies which I just set up in public I'm going to put uh, set it to guests allowed and save and then apply and yes And add again, I'm going to add the TV folder. So in the drop down, I'm going to select TV. I'm going to set it to guests allowed again and click save. Click apply again and yes. And uh, that uh, that part's done. Just going to check the shares are working to my uh, Windows PC. If you don't see them come up, just click the refresh. But uh, there's my Raspberry Pi. And there's a movies folder. Yep, everything's there. And my TV folder. Yep, that's all done and working. The thing I'm going to do now is set up SSH. So we can... Uh, uh, log into the Raspberry Pi using a bit of software called Putty. So you want to permit root login. We're, we're doing this so, uh, so we can install Plex. Click save. And apply. Then yes. Right, that's all done. Has everything done in uh, Open Media Vault so we can leave, just shut it down and leave. The thing we're going to do now is shush or SSH into the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to use a bit of software called Putty. So you just want to use the same IP address. Just have a look in your router, you should find it. So just use the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and then click Open. Just click yes, so it's the first time you've done it. First time you log in, you log in as root and then open Media Vault for your password in lowercase. First time you do this, it's going to ask you to change the password. So uh, enter open Media Vault again. And then just change it to any password you want, as long as you can remember it. That's done. thing I recommend doing now is rebooting the Raspberry Pi, because when we go to install Plex, you sometimes get errors about permissions. So if you reboot it, you won't, get, you won't see the errors. So just do sudo reboot, or sudo reboot, and reboot the Raspberry Pi which I'm doing now. Just click OK, it's rebooting. Doesn't take too long to do. I'll do this in real time because it doesn't take too long. So we're going to open up uh, Putty again and it's the uh, IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Then just click open. I'll just move it to the centre. And the login is root and the password is the one you set up earlier. Thing we're going to do now is go to the Plex website. Just scroll down until you see get Plex and click on the link. We want the Plex media server. 
And then on the left, we want to change that to Linux. And then choose a distribution. We want the ARM7. We're not going to download it. We just want the link, the link to it. So if you right click on it, and then copy link address. So that's done. I'm just going to open up a text document and paste it in. Right, we need this part. Just copy it and paste after wget. And then we just need this bit. Copy, then paste. Up the top here, you've got a source list. This is so it knows where to download it from. And when the updates come out, it knows where to get them from. So you just copy it, right click and press enter on your keyboard. And that's done. So I'll just copy this part. This is so we're gonna download Plex. Just copy it. Right click to paste it and then press enter again. So it's going to uh, start downloading Plex. I'll most probably uh, fast forward through this part, but it doesn't take too long. Right, that's done. Now we're going to copy uh, this part. Just copy it. Right click to paste and press enter. And this is going to install Plex. And just minimize that. Just click Y. And uh, now it's installing. And that's all done. That's Plex installed. If there's ever an update to Plex, you don't have to worry about the source list, but just do the second steps again, which I showed you. I.e. just copy the uh, new uh, link to the update and just do them steps again and it'll install the uh, latest update to Plex. But I will show you another way at the end of this video. Right, that's all done. I'll just close that window. And close uh, Putty. And OK. thing we're going to do now is log into Plex via your browser. So it's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi plus colon 32400 backslash web to log into the Pi. I've already got a shortcut. I think that was a colon. Right, we're logging into Plex for the first time. So down the bottom, just click got it. And you can just cancel that. Just uh, click the X. This is the name of your Plex server, so you can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it Pi. I don't use my Plex server outside my home, so I'm going to untick that box. And just click Next. Now we're going to add libraries. This is a little Plex uh, test server I set up. So I'm going to add Films, then Next. I'm going to browse for my media folder. You always find them right down the bottom. And movies. Just showing a few movies I've put on a SD card. And then add library. You can add other libraries as well. You can do it now or you can do it afterwards. It doesn't matter. Click next. Next again. So this is a few films I've got on my uh, test 
Plex server. Now it's just uh, downloading all the info and the film banners. I'll do this in real time. Doesn't take too long, but if you've got a few hundred movies and say TV shows, it can take a few hours to do, so be warned. But I'll just show you in real time as it's working. There's one, two, three. Come on, two more. There we go. And uh, that's same five movies do uh, done. I'll just check all the informa uh, all the information's been added, like actors and everything. The thing I'll do now, I'll swap over to my main Plex server, so you can see a full one on my main Plex server. This is my main Plex server with all my stuff on it. That's the front page of Pe uh, Plex. I'll go into my films. And that's most of my films. I'll show you now the uh, alternative method of updating Plex as we added a source list earlier. So all we need to do is log into Open Media Vault. And then go to Update Management on the left. And you should see the update appear in the list. If it doesn't, just click Check. And then all you have to do is tick the box and click upgrade. So you can do it that way as well. It's entirely up to you. You can either use the first uh, first method or you can do it that way. So as always, I uh, hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye.